Yes, sir. We are back with another interview. I'm right here with my short, super short friend. Todd. <laughs> Drummer boy. How you doing, my guy? I undisputed. You know what I mean? And I'm chilling, dog. I'm chilling, chilling. How was the drive fun? Oh, you live far. Yeah, I mean, I, I was sleeping, so I wasn't really paying attention too much. You one of them rappers, huh? Just pick up your homies so they could drive, so you don't got to drive, <laughs> huh? Nah, I'm lucky to have homies that know how to whip and they got L's, because not a lot of homies got L's. Do you got shit. your L's? Yeah, I got my L's. I don't got my L's yet, dog. Why not? I'm lazy. Yeah, I, I had to pay. Drive really good. Nah, I got caught up a lot, so I had to pay like seven thousand to get my shit back, bro. Like in tickets and all kinds of bullshit. Wow, you had to? Well, oh, cause you forgot to pay shit. I just never did. Mm. You know what I mean? I, you know, I, once I started like getting money, I learned you got to be more responsible about shit. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. <laughs> you know I think I, mean? I think definitely getting your L's is one of the most important things ever. Yeah, that's mandatory. Did you ever feel like you had to do? You you had to start doing little grown up shit when you. Started making money, like getting your L's or Yeah, like you do, you do. I mean, there's a lot there's a lot of reasons why you should have your L's, you know what I'm saying? Like if you know you know you riding, you know what I'm saying, you you wanna have your L's, you gotta know your rights too and shit like that. You know what I mean? But I mean now that you know money came into the picture, I mean I've been you know, I've music's been good to me for for a few years now and shit, you know, more than a few years. So, you know, now that you got money, you just think differently, bro. You just you know what I'm saying? Um I mean you just, you know, you, you, you want different shit. You yeah, know what I'm no, definitely. It ain't not about partying and like fucking with bitches every weekend now. It's like, it's just different for me and shit. But was that definitely younger you when you were getting money? Yeah, I mean, I went through my phase. Hell yeah. Phase, uh, yeah. Yeah, as soon as you get bread, bro, you're going, you're going, I mean, bread with you that you could fuck off. Yeah, yeah. You know what fuck I'm saying? Off. Yeah. Because people could get money and mm. have to pay rent bills and then that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. Bro, money to fuck off? Yeah, money to fuck off. Yeah, you, you, I went through my phases where I was fucking shit off. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I got just jewelry. I got thousands and thousands of dollars worth of, worth of jewelry. Like, I'm talking about shit, low, bro. Like, big ass pennants full of diamonds. You like regret I, all that shit. I really don't regret it because I have it, but like, like now, look, I just I don't even like, like I don't even wear it like that, bro. Like I will wear it for videos and shit. Like, that. don't get me wrong, like the watch, you know what I'm saying? That's that's twenty five right there, but you know what I'm saying? Like the shit that I, I just like chilling now and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I wear it for videos and like for shows and shit like that. But anything else, I'm just like chilling. You know what I'm saying? But back then. I was wearing that shit to the liquor store and shit, like a Walmart. <laughs> Motherfucker walking in with Walmart wearing with a, a big, big ass chain. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, think you're hella ignorant. Like, oh, look at this dumbass thing. He yeah, the rest of nah, us. Nah, I'm God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, yeah. Your priorities change just a little bit. What's the most you think? What's the most you think you've spent at the club or at a bar with your foamies or by yourself or with a bitty? Uh, with a bitty, nah, I don't, we don't spend on, on that. But I mean, with the homies and shit like that in the clubs, bro, we could shit a lot, bro. Like, What's a lot? Give me a number. Like tens, Damn. tens, fifteen. And regret that shit in the morning, hawk. Yeah, Louis. because like, okay, say you go to a strip club, like you ain't throwing money for the for the for the females and shit. You just throwing money to act a fool, bro. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? So you see somebody over there acting a fool and shit, like. You're like, watch this type shit. Like, well, I'm about to fucking clown right now, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just kind of like that. But would you ever date a stripper? Uh, shit. That's next, next, next question. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. no jumper, man. We gotta know these juicy questions. I don't know, jumping boy. Who knows? Uh, Maybe nah. I'll go to your wedding one day, and it's with an old stripper. <laughs> nah, you gotta have that. Lo you gotta have them loyal ones, bro. Especially in the, in, especially in like this, these situations that, that you know, what I'm saying like you, you know that that you in now and shit. Like you gotta have, you have loyal ones. There's some, there's this, there's just like a like a stigmatism about like I don't even know if that's the right word, but that about strippers that makes you feel like you know, what I'm saying. There's just this picture already painted that yeah. they're like nah, somebody you wife. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying you know they just. It's, I, I just think of them like dudes, bro. Like, we just all about money, you know okay. what I'm saying? Anything else, like, we don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might see somebody, you, you, you fuck with her, and then the next day, next week, next month, you ain't really tripping until you, like, pop up again on your feet or something, and you're like, oh, shit, what's yeah, good? Yeah, nah, I feel that's 100% right. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Well, Jummer, let us know about a little bit earlier in your career. I know, obviously, me and you have sat down and have conversations before, but, like, let us know how, where'd you grow up and how'd you get into the rap shit? Shit, I'm from Pomona, a city with no pity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The rap shit just kind of came, man. I've been doing music since I was young and shit, but the rap shit came. 
You know, um, my little cousin got busted. I was making beats. That's how I started. Was making beats and shit yeah, like yeah. that. For those who don't know, I was making beats for for quite a long time, and that's kind of how I broke into the music industry. I was making a shitload of beats, man, and then and we was cracking millions back then. We was cracking millions of views, shit. But off just you being a producer, off of me just being a producer. producer. You know what I'm saying? Millions of views, just cracking them like that. And then after that, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, my cousin got jet. He went to jail for life and shit. You know what I'm saying? For uh, he got he got caught. He went to jail for life. He was the one like rapping. Like he was like me making the beats and he was rapping. And yeah. Everything else I was doing was outside for different people and shit. Yeah. And then after that, like my brother Smokey is like, man, you got to start rapping. You got to get on the mic type shit. And it all kind of like gradually just happened because I wasn't really like serious about it. And I and I really uh, man, I just I was just fucking off. Like I really I really didn't have no confidence and shit. I was just kind of like you know I was rapping all about the head back then. Yeah. Like, if you notice now, like, motherfuckers know where I'm from because my tats, and they know where my videos are yeah, at and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? My videos, like, some of my first videos were shot at, but, you know, like, I don't really, I don't gangbang on the tracks and shit. Like, yeah. I don't be like, you know, this but you're is- early on in your career, life. for sure. Yeah, early on, that's all it was about. Yeah, 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 It was all about us and then fuck the other side. Which isn't always marketable. Nah. You feel me? That's I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of homies, homies want to hear that. I mean, that's what's going on now. You know what I'm saying? It just, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's it's kind of going on now. We we kind of like, I mean, me and a few individuals in LA kind of kicked off the whole like gang banging on the shit, and you know what I'm saying, talking about you know what I'm saying yeah, like, murder like, for the Mexicans yeah. and shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that actually started hitting. That wasn't like. Capone in them and, and shit. Yeah, yeah. kind of like second generation to this shit type shit. I guess, would, would you say that? Yeah, something like Cause that. Because obviously, because early on in your career, you consider yourself chick on a rap? I guess, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, obviously, the beats were different. Well, we always rapped over, like, the beats I was making were always different. I would make, like, like, uh, like trap shit? Trap shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was always different. We always had the different swag. Like, my swag never changed and shit. Nah, most definitely. I mean, er, I didn't really know about you till. Uh, I would say like 2018, 2019 is, mm -hmm. and that's probably when you left AK. It's probably when you left like around, that's kind of around the time you left AK 47. Yeah, yeah, around okay. there. Okay, and I think that's when you started really pushing the individuality where you were like making like, like you have that one song where you talk about your life and your homies. Uh -huh. And then and then you kind of started pushing more of the trap shit, the rap shit, a little more swag. It, 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 it was just a little more swaggier. I just came out of myself so being being like in producing and, and rapping at the same time because when I was over there, I was producing and rapping. We came up with a whole sound and that whole sound was that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Was that shit with, you know, with old, with old boy and that crew, you know what I mean? And then after that, I'm from Pomona. I have a different, I have a different swag. I have a different kind of demeanor about myself. You know, what I'm saying when we, you know, growing up in Pomona. Mm -hmm. So when I was when I branched off on my own, I was able to show that shit more. You know what I mean? Kind of like the beat time. Beat like selection. Yeah, beat selection. beat selection. You know what I'm and saying? That's where the name Drummer Boy comes from, right? From you making beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, drum, yeah. but you just you never thought like maybe I should change my my shit to something else or. You're like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep this nigga name. Yeah, yeah, I just I just kept it, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That shit just stuck with it, you know what I mean? And we already been hitting millions of shit, so what was the point of me switching it? Yeah, like, you were in like, the middle. But was it always young drummer boy or was it just drummer boy? At the very beginning, it, I think it, it was just drummer boy. Like the homies from the hood just called me deep boy and shit like yeah, that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, but after that, I, we just hit the young with it. Yeah, you know it was like, fucking let me just add this motherfucker. Yeah, this motherfucker. you know what I'm saying? But it was like, the very early of transition, yeah. you know what I'm But can you remember the first artist you were producing for? Because you said you were producing first, right? Producing, your brother was rapping. Mm. But can you remember like the first couple artists? Or, or actually, give me like the first more known artist that you produced for and you were like, oh, that's cool that I was able to send him a beat and get a track with them type shit. Uh, shit. It was, it was, you know what? It was trip. It was like, we had a studio, like we built out a studio out there, like in Upland, in Upland, and then okay, uh, like in the IE type. Yeah, shit. we built out a studio right there, and a lot of the LA scene was going over there. So a lot of the early, you know what I'm saying, like, I like foods that I still know and, and even even we're talking about because you know I don't like talking about everybody, but like the homie like oh so vicious and and people that were doing it over there, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're from LA, they're from like, you know, Baldwin Park, from different spots and shit. Yeah. But they were the ones that first started buzzing and shit. That's how I met Icon and that shit too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Fat ass Icon. Yeah. He was over here like, 
Let me go do the interview with you so I can talk shit to this motherfucker. Right oh, now. man. Yeah, he was telling me y'all have a really great relationship. Right, right. Yeah, yeah I mean, I've been knowing him for like 10 years, probably 10 years plus and shit. That shit, that motherfucker cool. Yeah, shout out Icon, bro. Bro been in my life for, for a minute. And I kind of when I, I kind of when I, when I started popping off, he was just always around because he was working with the homie Jay Bless a lot. Oh, right. And then and then the homie Jay Bless was really Yeah, I know Jay Bless. Yeah, yeah, he was working with him a lot. Shooting a lot of his shit, so yeah, he's a cool over. cat. He's a cool yeah. humble cat. Yeah, yeah Jay Bless icon. and Icon, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I grew up with a lot of early scene like that, you know what I'm saying. But we kind of just switch, you know what I'm saying. Like me now, shit. Well, I mean, you can see it, you know what I'm saying. We, we you know, I, you know, I, I like branched off. I started doing shit with like real cheese, shit with like Phoenix. Me and Phoenix got some new shit about to drop this week, uh, like in two weeks, too. Like in two weeks, yeah. Single or like it's like a whole little like mixtape. It's a single. Thing. It's a single. I got. Uh, it's a single off the album that I'm about to drop. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so we're going to start just releasing shit like that. And, you know, I already been a stupid young. That's the homie, so I tapped in with him. Um, you know what I mean? We, you know, Drake, oh, rest in peace. A lot of shit that we've already done and yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? So right now, I'm just, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a point where, like, I'm just growing. So now we fucking with, with homies from Texas, you know what I'm saying? Upcoming motherfuckers that are already hitting amps. You know what I'm saying? Texas, no, right, like Chicago too, right? Chicago, yeah, we. Chicago's always a good scene to hit, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going over there. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still tapped in. I mean, LA's, LA's, LA. LA's, you know LA, most definitely. You know what I mean? That's home base. So you know, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna, uh, uh, do my best to make LA proud when it comes to making my music and what our LA sound is. So even when I go out there, you, you gonna hear that yeah, sound. Yeah, the beat's gonna just, just kind of still not, be the same. Yeah. yeah, I think big selection is important, especially for somebody that kind of came in through like a certain type of genre you, you know it's always good like i think seeing you work with phoenix and ruchi was like probably i, I, I thought it was dope as fuck because it kind of thinks you out your element because you're more mellow and you know that right yeah like, yeah yeah you're you're a little more melatonin when you even when you talk like i know we like when you came out cheese with doing you're just a little more like soft spoken so seeing yeah, you so. rap the trap shit is always cool and like yeah. the ratchet shit and like that's always a good vibe yeah, man, we just we going off and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, now it's like a whole transition. Like, I'm throwing my own shows now and shit. Now, you know what I'm saying? Me, me and the homie uh, Monos and shit. You know what I'm saying? From Lovely, we doing a lot of shit now, bro. Like, we got the weed brand coming out. Um, How do you feel about the the weed game being super saturated? Well, see, it's it, it it is. I mean, like the homie was telling me about it. He could talk to you more about it, but like, you know. <clears throat> He knows what he's doing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you got to get with people that know what they're doing. Like if I would try to take that shit on myself, like it wouldn't work, bro. You got, you got to. <laughs> yeah, like, I get what you're saying. You got to get with motherfuckers uh, that know. Yeah, I'm kind of just seeing it as like from an outside perspective. It's like the game is very like, you know, like obviously weed is, you know, probably back weed. You go to jail for weed back in the day. Right now they allow you to do. Would, yeah, they, they they took me yeah, in for yeah, weed before too. Weed, that's what I'm saying. So what mm -hmm. I mean, like now it's such a fucking. It's such a common thing. It's like everywhere that it's like, damn, the game's, it's a little saturated, but yes, you're right. I think if you execute it the right way, yeah. you're still able to make good sales and make good weed. Yeah, hell yeah. That's that's a fact. Because the homies are killing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The homies are doing good and shit. But like I said, if I would do that shit by myself, I wouldn't know where to start. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, really? You know what I mean? It's all about the brand though. You know what I'm saying? The brand is what's going to what's gonna do it for me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we got a hell of a strong fan base and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I'm going to just use that in every angle that I can, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just kind of what we pushing right now. You know what I mean? And then doing our own shows now, I was like, fuck it, bro. Like, we got the bread to put up this bread, to put up this money to buy these venues and get these venues and shit like that. So instead of getting cashed out, you know what I'm saying? I'm teaming up with the homie and shit like that. And then we just, we getting these venues and, and booking the artists. You know what I'm saying? How is it doing everything? Obviously, you've been independent for a while. Hell yeah! Obviously, you were signed to a, to a I guess you could say an independent label before. Yeah, and obviously you. Well, what's what's that one? Empire. The, you were with Empire, but before that, because you're with Empire now. I'm with Empire. Well, I was with Empire with the, on the on the label side. On the label side. Yeah, I was with Empire on the label side for uh for about uh two years. For about two years. That was good, and then they came back. Um, they came back to to now you know because I told you I took that break yeah, and you shit. Took that break. So they came back and um. You know, they put a check on the table and I was like, yeah, that's looks nice. But 
what I just did was I, I I signed a distribution deal with them. So, you know, I didn't take no bread. I was like, let's let's just get straight distribution because my plan is to sign an artist like I did. Yeah. You know, like Charlie Stone. And and for, that's the guy you have the music video with on the boat. Yeah, a whole with lot. With the of, bad bitches. Yeah, a whole lot. Of, a whole Why you invite me with shit. the bad bitches? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're a busy guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't you you be bro. busy too buying a house. Yeah. Congratulations on buying your house. Oh, right, thank you, bro. Thank you. You know, it's crazy. I hit up Chuck Dizzle. I was talking to uh, Chuck Dizzle and uh, and DJ Head. We did an interview, like, I was about two years ago and shit. And they were like, what's your goal with this music shit? You know what I'm saying? And um, and I couldn't think of nothing else but that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I want to buy a house. It took me longer than I expected, than I wanted it to. And that's because, bro, going back to what we were talking about, yeah, like, yeah. the whole shit. You gotta be like, you have to be on your grown up shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. You have to, you have to have quick, like, bro. I get your credit up. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know how important credit was, bro. So keep it a buck before you started making money, uh, or even before you bought the house. What was your credit at? Five forty. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> grown ass man with five forty credit. You ain't getting nothing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting shit. You ain't getting shit. And on top of that, bro, like, I man, I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. I like. When when I talk to the realtors and all these people are my homies, like you know, what I'm saying like the real estate shit, like they they I fuck with them. I was like, man, I'm ready to buy a house. This was two years ago. Two years ago. I was ready two years ago, bro. And I, I fucking I, I took a picture of my safe, stack some money, and I can say that because when the cops get raided, they broke into my safe and they said, "What's all that? <laughs> What's all that money in there? Stack some money." I took a picture and I was like, "I'm ready." And then and then my realtor was like, "That money don't mean shit. That got to be in the bank." Yeah, that shit don't mean that goddamn thing. <laughs> that shit gotta be in your bank. You in, know what I'm saying? In, in like electronic world and in the real world, it was like you don't have drummer don't. Yeah, it was like it was kind of like it's kind of like you're broken credit if that makes sense. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit! I never realized how important it was. So I'm trying to like do that shit, like buy houses and shit. And they're like, well, you gotta get it to this amount and make this amount. And then I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, all that shit. That shit gets real and shit. But you know what I'm saying? We did it. And I did it straight off rap, bro. I don't trap. I don't do nothing off the on the side, bro. My my only income is my music and Twitch. I was on Twitch for a minute. You were Twitch for you little low life. Hey, that's when I was. That's when I took that break, bro. I got into playing fucking GTA online and shit, role play, motherfucker. I was on there like, where you from, motherfucker? I was just gang banging up. <laughs> you were gang banging on GTA. <laughs> shit brought flashbacks and shit. <laughs> oh god, like we got our own gang, bro. It's called Southside Boys and shit. It's on GTA role play, LA North. <laughs> Shout out to LA North, man. We cause hell. With it, it's crazy. I, I was never too uh, like. Too into like I've never been too into video games. I wasn't than, like, either. Sports shit, but you got into it because of COVID, right? Uh, yeah, I guess COVID, and I was just ready. To, I was just taking a break. I fucking went, bro. I got so into it. I spent like four thousand on a fucking big ass PC and shit PC like that, and all that shit. I still got it. And I shit. still got it too. I just bought my shit too. I remember um during COVID, obviously nobody was outside, and we have a talk about our fat friend again, Icon. Right. He was like, "Yeah, drummer, man, drummer thing. He nice. He nice." Mm. And I remember he keep posting. You keep beating his ass, weak ass. Oh yeah, he weak. Yeah, he weak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, he but weak. I just recently got into it. Me and my manager Cali, because he knows a lot more about video games than he was like a GTA shit. That shit addicted. You can see. Hey, bro, it's <laughs> addicting, bro. I would wake up and go sit on that sh on on that on that hours? game chair, bro. Just hours. Hours, just on there. I know you have a son. You letting your son play GTA? Yeah, he was playing too, he but playing he too? he more into the other shit. So he went once. You know what I'm saying? We were running around and like it's like real. Like if I don't know if you guys play the role play shit, right? Yeah, so, I, I've, I've I've never played it, but I've definitely seen people play it and like it's like the tree. Clip. You seen yeah. the T Grizzly playing? Yeah, 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 okay, so it's basically like that. So you just. <clears throat> Like you gotta, you gotta have gas. You gotta go pick your homies up, and then you guys go to the other side and go blast at these fools, and then you go back and forth. So it's all about like kind of like, and you gotta create a gang, and then you gotta, you gotta establish your gang in there so you could get a flag and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, and then some in the game, bro. Like these cats had the flag. You know what I'm saying? They had the blue flag, and we wanted that, so we had to like run them out. Of, bro, it was just crazy. It's, it's, it's stupid, but it was it yeah, like yeah, you know what I'm saying. It was entertaining. You know, it's like some kid shit. Like it was just like yeah, you know what I mean. Bullshitting. I'm um, fucking. Were people like in your team servers that were from like other whole other states? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. They're from they're from everywhere. I had this fool. He ran like a whole other gang in there and shit. And then he was like, uh, he he would like, bro. He would try to talk to me. And he's like, he's you could tell he was like a white boy type of dude. And he was like, hey man, so like how how do how do like how do gangs work? 
<laughs> so he was running a gang and he was asking me like how the gangs <laughs> work. And I was just like, man, like, it's not a gang, uh, fool. <laughs> and you know what's crazy though? Motherfuckers knew who I was through my voice in that Your motherfucker. Voice? Now you, you you definitely have a very distinguished voice. Like you're you know, it's very melatonin and shit like that. Yeah, they started they started talking this like and like around the little fake city and shit, like motherfuckers was like talking and like the homies, like my homie CJ and shit, he was like, Hey man, these fools know who you are and shit. They wanna give us this and they wanna give us that. You wanna do gun deals? Yeah, yeah they wanna go Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that that that's all good to take breaks and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But now we back at it, bro. Like I came back. I came back. Back at it like a crack at it. Oh God! I came back and I seen I seen hella a hella shit, bro. And I was like, damn. You know, I don't speak up on too much shit, but I'm like, damn. There's a lot of shit going on, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I'm the type of motherfucker I don't really speak on shit because I'm just like I don't really give a fuck what's going on unless it unless it involves, involves me, my homies, or my family. You know what I'm saying? And as long as I'm if I'm getting my bread and I'm chilling, bro. I'm always chilling. That's why you never see me like. On Instagram, like doing like, hey, fuck you type of shit. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't really do stuff like that. But there's a lot of shit going on. You know what I mean? And uh, a lot more. I don't want to say competition, but a lot more. A lot more rappers, bro. <laughs> there's yeah, a lot, yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of more rappers. rappers yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just dropped Gang Coast. That 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 album was kind of for me. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't really for. It was like if if you if you listen to Gang Coast, it's more about like me and like it's, it's what I wanted to make and, and like for my for my mental state, bro. Mental state. Yeah, cause I lost my sister. Uh, I lost my sister uh a, a year ago. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, no, it's, it's good, man. You know what I'm saying? She in paradise and shit. But uh, um, it was more for my mental state. You know what I'm saying? But then this new album, like we got, like I said, bro, we got Phoenix on it. That one's gonna crack it off. You gonna see when you see that shit. So how was the Pomona show? It was cool. The carnival. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the you one Phoenix. Like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it was cool. Like two motherfuckers got knocked out, but it was good. I seen that. I heard, I heard, I heard. <laughs> I didn't hear, but I heard. Yeah, I was like, damn, jumper, there, motherfuckers fighting. Nah, it's cause, yeah, I'm just kidding. I accidentally <laughs> took somebody's bottle, bro. Like accidentally, it really was accidentally. Oh my god, cause like I was performing and like he put, he he handed me like a 1942 for his little table and shit, and like I grabbed it. And I hit it. And passed it to like 30 of your homies. Yeah. I, Asshole. Like I, I did one of these, bro, because I was like literally rapping. Like me and Phoenix were going back and forth. Like we did two, the songs that we had and shit. And then, and I was rapping and I, and I passed it to him like that. And then I was, just, and, and, and this dude was standing right there. And then he just started making a fuss about his, his bottle, bro. Yeah, it's the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my bad, if, if you see this shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit happens, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now that you got a house, how does you, like I know you I know you were probably obviously you were living in a nice spot, but like how did your son feel like having his like his house now kind of thing? Well, I made a promise to my son at the beginning of the year. I told him, uh I told him by the end of this year we're gonna have a house. You know what I'm saying? That's and a legitimate he, promise. Like yeah. if you talk to my son, he'll tell you straight up. My and then he, fuck, did he held you to it? Like was he reminding you constantly like that's Dad, the, that's that? the thing, bro, because um he was he he wouldn't tell me, but like he was so excited that he would tell other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my dad said, we're going to get a house this year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And this is the year we're going to get a house. And whoa, whoa, whoa. And then when you finally got it. Imagine house, how you feel, bro. Yeah, and how you accomplished for sure. Uh, but imagine how you feel before you get that yeah, house. Like, oh, damn, I really got I, I really that need house. that house, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need it. For, I can't let him down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, bro. you know, but now it's lovely, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, to after we get back, he was like, but right now when I left him, he's like, Hey, can we go to Best Buy? I want lights here and I want lights there and shit like that. He's telling the homie Turtle, like he's like, Can I tell Turtle to take me and shit like that? You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> to go buy lights. Yeah, we're gonna have for Turtle drop. For, for Uncle Turtle drop, we're gonna have to drop a bag on the little nephew. Oh uh, god, oh <laughs> uh, god, you know what I'm saying? So I mean it's a beautiful thing to be able to buy it to 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 own property now and and you know, I just bought you know, I bought a brand new brand new car too and shit. So I got like two new whips and I'm just like, bro, all this shit off of music. Yeah, all this sh- I be quiet though. Motherfuckers don't, <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers don't nah, know. Nah, y'all you're giving change this shit. I seen. I pay attention, uh, boo. Oh yeah, shout out to Charlie Stone, man. Yeah, yeah. Tap man, in with Charlie it. Stone, yeah, man. Let's talk about it. So you have a new artist from Compton? From Compton under HF? Yes, sir. High forever. The High label. forever. Yes, sir. Tell me how that went about. Was the deal looking like? You don't gotta get too specific, but like, man, that's family. I mean, uh, when uh, before I, you know, uh, shout out to Joker Boy Compton Chapo. A lot of motherfuckers gonna know who Compton Chapo is. Uh, he, uh, that's his family, uh, blood. You know what I'm saying? So, me, me, Chapo's been in my corner since. You know what I'm saying? I was rapping in the garage and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
And then uh, when Charlie was like, Charlie had, he just got out, bro. He just beat, uh, you know, he just beat a life sentence and shit. You know, his same, the same lawyer he had was a uh, Snoop Dogg's lawyer. The dude on the boat. A dude on the boat. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they just really beat a murder case. Uh, I don't, I don't. It was a murder. It was. It was, a, a, it was, a, it was something heavier. Something, yeah, it was, it was something heavy. around the same. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so you know he came out and shit, and um, you know, Ch- you know, my homie Chopper was like, man, he's in and out the music and shit, but motherfuckers know who he is. You know what I mean? But um, he was like, hey, you know, what's up with Charlie? And I was like, man, I'll take Charlie under my wing and let's just go. We all eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we'll all eat. I'll use my formula. The same formula that, 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 look, I can't teach everybody, you know what I'm saying, what somebody else does, but I could show somebody what I know and what worked for me, obviously, is working Most definitely. for definitely. You know what I mean? But Charlie Stone, man, the thing I like about him is he's real. His name is unique, by the way. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, because, not to throw shade at you, but the youngs and the littles, it, it, it could kind of sometimes get right. saturated as well. But Charlie Stone, it's you. if you were to hear that off top of the back, you would think he's black. Right. Yeah, you would think like, and then the name Charlie is always like, uh, you feel me? Like, it's always like, hey, Charlie. Hey, you know? Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. He I'll real fuck as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he. The thing I like about him, he don't pretend. He don't pretend to be something he's not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what he talks about is real. Everything you said when he met, there's a song where he says a mil, a mil a mil ticket dropped out that you know what I'm saying and broke his toe. Like that's real, bro. Like everything he talks about in his music is real and shit. You know what I'm saying and shit that's happened to him before. You know what I mean? And and you can't say that for a lot of rappers out there these days. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just think portraying to be... He don't, yeah. You know, portraying to be, like, which I understand some motherfuckers could be tough. You know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers is real. Some motherfuckers is real. But portraying to always be that is not always authentic, most definitely. Yeah, I mean, my brother always told me, you know what I'm saying, you, you, there's always going to be somebody that's more gangster, somebody that, that that's more bigger, somebody that's more stronger and shit like that. So just, just be you. You feel me? Yeah. You know? That's why I I don't walk around with my chest out all the time, bro. Like I'm more chill, bro. Like anytime you see me, like it's chill. But, but I, you know what I mean. Like I got my neighborhood blasted all over I me. Mean, motherfuckers don't gotta ask. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the reason why you put those motherfuckers there and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like this this the hood. You know I got twenty four double O. I'm out. You know what I mean? That's the block. Other than that, bro. Like I don't feel the need to 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 act like you know to chest to, out all the time. Yeah, I don't feel the need to do that and shit. You know what I mean? You feel like you've always been like that. I always had little man syndrome when I was young. Yeah, bro. that's I was, I was gonna. I was the, <laughs> that's where the question was going a little bit. Cause you with your homie, he saw the shit. Yeah, yeah. That's a tall motherfucker right there. That you know? my, hey, that's Mono's right there. I already <laughs> man, he been laying motherfuckers out. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, that motherfucker laid out. Like don't kick it with wrong people. That motherfucker laying motherfuckers out. But now nah, I always had, I had, uh, I had like you know what I'm saying. When I was young, I always I I had to prove myself when I was younger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I mean I got jumped in at a young age and shit, and then. And and a lot of motherfuckers was just bigger than me, bro. So yeah. whatever I had at hand, bro, I would throw this at somebody. Like I don't give a fuck. Like yeah. we, we, I had to make you. you have remember. to figure it out. Yeah, I had to make you remember. Like don't 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 test me, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think over the years, like you know, it just it just calmed down. I just started calming down. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling. Like I know what I'm capable of, but I don't. Yeah. I don't feel the need to walk in the room and let everybody know what I'm capable of. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's kind of more just of a you thing type of thing. Like, yeah. As like, long as you know and the people that have to know, know. Right, type right. Shit. And then shit, bro, all this shit that's going on, man, all these rappers dying, bro, that shit's crazy to me. Do you, do you feel like rapping is the most dangerous job? It's not, it's not even rapping because you think fucking, you think Bad Bunny has to worry about shit like that. Like I don't think so, bro. I uh, fuck, fuck. I can see what you're saying. What you're trying to say is like motherfuckers gonna rob motherfuckers if they want to. Yeah, it's not even just about rapping. It's it's what you portray yourself to be, and what and if you not that, you know what I'm saying. Not to mm-hmm. say that you know what I mean anybody that's passed away wasn't, but if it's like anywhere in the streets, bro. If you portray yourself to be the hardest gangster walking around the block, somebody's gonna test that. Yeah. Right. It's like that in music. It's like that anywhere. I don't care if you have a fucking office job. That motherfucking... And there's a white supervisor, bro. You know what I'm saying? Test him. And I guarantee you that motherfucker will fight you, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just life in general. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not even just about rapping. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just motherfuckers 
feel like they gotta, you know, move certain type of way and shit like that. Like my raps is more, it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I talk about, yeah, we, we, we'll blame you and all that, you know what I'm saying? Type of vibe and shit. Talking about taking your bitch type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So it is kind of foolishry, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, you know, on, on, the, on, the, on the other side of that, it's kind of like we we not really trying to move like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're we just not kinda, trying to... You know, it's just music. It's like just, dickish, you're not trying to move like a... Yeah. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Like but, I ain't going to walk into a spot and just take your bitch. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I think, I think, I think sometimes people take things hella literal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And sometimes you just having fun in the studio. Like, I'm pretty sure you fucked fools and bitches before, but I'm just saying. Like, uh-huh. And sometimes it just it it, it, could, it that shit could be taken out of proportion. Like, right. It could just be blown up to something that is really not. Yeah, it does. I think that's what's going on. You know what I mean? So shit, I've been in the music game for years, bro. Mm-hmm. So my advice is just don't. Don't don't really pretend to be something you're not. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If you're a gangbanger, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a gangbanger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, 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 you know what I mean? Like, you know, that's my that's my past. That's my history. That's my family. You know what I'm saying? So I can talk about that and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like all I know. You know what I'm saying? Like growing up, like I'm generation to generation. Like my brothers are from me. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. So it's kind of like what I know and shit. You know what I mean? But if you don't know about that life and you talk about it, you know what I'm saying? And then you end up getting in a situation because that, and then you all surprised. You yeah. surprised because that happened? Like, bro, like, how are you going to be surprised that that happened? Are you more cautious now with all this shit? Because obviously, I'm back in the day. I mean, you've probably seen fools get robbed or you fools get killed before. But are you, now that you're like, oh, you know, you're a name, like, are you kind of more cautious about like where you go, what you post and shit like that? Like, what do you feel about I, the location? I always been. I always yeah, been. Yeah, always been though. Okay. Yeah, I, de- I definitely always been because... You had beef before rap. Yeah. I don't like any beef that, that supposedly in the rap game is not considered beef to me because I got real enemies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got real... Yeah. We got, you know, uh, mortal enemies, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, in Pomona. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That go... This goes back years and years and years. That I'm talking about... They, like they, before you were born type shit. Yeah, they killing my homies before, you know what I'm saying? And, and then vice versa and shit, you know what I mean? So this rap game doesn't really phase me when it comes to beef. Like, it's not real, you know what I mean? But definitely always, uh, that's what made me cautious was that. So like... Your past made you cautious. My past made me cautious. Like, ha- going to the liquor store, you had to be strapped. And if yeah. you weren't strapped, you were slipping, yeah. right? So it just goes, it goes like, that's that's what made me more like, you know, more, more like that. When it came to the rap game, it's kind of like, if you want to laugh it off and shrug it off, like, ah, oh, it's just, you know, rap, this shit ain't real beef and shit. You want to start calling people out online and shit like that. It's like, it's, you know, they look at it like, okay, it's not real beef and shit. But I always look at it like, man, I know what people are capable of. I know what my homies are capable of. I know what I'm capable of. And I know there's a lot of motherfuckers that are with the business out there. So just move accordingly and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be sitting in my on the corner of my of my block on my liquor store and taking a picture saying, Hey, I'm here. <laughs> Cause them motherfuckers are gonna pull up. I promise you, bro. Nah, that should be crazy. I bet you money. Do you post shit like after you leave? I will see it's different for me because I really don't post like that. Or you really don't be out. You a homebody, huh? I am a homebody, but I really don't like posting. Like I like even like, bro, like I was in Havasu for like five days. I probably posted twice. Havasu was nice. I was hot as fuck though. Huh? It was, bro. I, can't, I was burnt, bro. I looked like a lobster. Look- <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker was burnt. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Shout out to my brother Smokey though. We was out there though. You know, we had the RVs. We had like four RVs set up, everything, bro. And it was cool as shit. You know what I'm saying? But see, but what I'm saying is like, I'm I'm more of like I like to enjoy this shit and I hate Life, being like on my phone. Yeah, yeah. This this could be a little tricky sometimes. It could be a little mentally that shit could be mentally draining, fool. It is. I felt good, bro, because I like I left it in the trailer while we was because we got like jet skis, we got boats, we got everything, right? Barbecuing all types of shit. I left it in the trailer like I wasn't tripping. I put business to the side. I said, like, business could wait for five days, you know what I'm saying? That's what I usually do, and I, that's what I do a lot. People, cause you know, you, you know, you more rap, but people are obviously my my job consists of like social media, skits yeah, it does. and YouTube. Your shit could be dangerous too, low key. No, yeah. Motherfuckers get butt hurt a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, motherfuckers, you know what I mean? But it's just, but it's just also like mentally, it's just draining too, bro. You know, I gotta, I don't got no kids. I know you got a kid, but I, I just, I, sometimes I just wanna be with my mom, food, to be honest. Yeah. Or with the homies. Like, me and the homies, we go eat, get some food, go to the homie Solvik's house, and we just eat. 
play with the babies, right. kick it, 2K, FIFA, fuck you, you're ugly, you know, and I just leave my phone in the cut, like, oh God. I'll reply to the bitches, you know what I mean? I'm a little younger than you, so I'm still a little more hornier, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reply to the hoes and shit like that, but uh -huh. you feel me? It's just something yeah. I'll be like, ah, I just, I'll be over the phone too. Nah, for reals, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just kind of, it's just how it is and shit, you know what I'm saying? But the, unfortunately, in our business, like, the we phone is the fucking biggest thing. Yeah. Um, What does Drummer Boy listen to? In our rap, what do you like? Like, what's your favorite R&B artist? I'm, you want to keep it a buck, bro? I, I'm a, I'm more of a type of motherfucker, and it's going to sound funny, right? But I drive, if I'm driving somewhere, like just me, and the homies ain't with me, and I'm driving somewhere, I have the radio off, bro. It's quiet? That's weird, huh? I ain't getting in your car. <laughs> weird ass car. Everybody just here. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Pass the blunt. <sighs> <laughs> but like if I'm banging something and I want to feel some type of way, I gotta listen to like Spice One. I gotta listen to like yeah, above the Spice. Come on, man. Spice One. Who the fuck is Spice? You know what Spice One is? The jealous got me strapped, man. Spice One, above the law, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like shit that I used to shit that I used to bump. Okay, what's something you do? people don't think you'll bump? Like, I don't know, maybe you like fucking um Winnie Houston or some shit. Uh, I like um Ariel Camacho, I like his shit. Too. Okay, Ariel Camacho, RP Ariel yeah, Camacho. You know what I'm saying? RP that man and shit. You know what I'm saying? I like more calm music. Because my my life like consists of everything being fast, hype. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do this, we dropping videos, we got fucking uh, bitches everywhere. You boo boo boo. Uh show here, show there, club here, club there. So when I'm when I'm in my zone, like I need something just calm, like chill and shit, you know what I'm saying? I feel that, yeah. I mean, I just think, I, I don't know, I just want to know, you maybe listen to Ashanti, you fuck with Ashanti. I probably, I mean, I can't name it, but yeah, I mean, if a song come on, it's there, you know what yeah. I mean? It's there and shit. What about know? like, I'm still in love, you know, you don't listen like that? Nah, uh, I didn't like that, yeah. nah. What about when you were like a girl, you telling me you never listened to music like that? I'm saying you bumping above the law on a date? I'm a gangster, bro. Nah, I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, above the line, yeah, she leave me like fuck this guy's ass. Food. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, you know, it's just like yeah, like that. I mean, I fuck with T Grizzly shit sometimes. Meek okay. Mill, you know okay. what I'm saying, Meek Mill too, and shit like that. Um, I fuck with Kendrick's music too and shit like that. But it's not, it's not something that I'm bumping every day. Yeah, you know what I mean. I guess when you making music every day, like I'm like my studio, bro. We built out this whole studio, and um. It got a shower, it got it got a kitchen, it got beds, bro. Like it got three different recording rooms and shit. That's the HF Studios, bro. I built that whole shit out. So I'm there for like a whole month, two straight. Like I'm only home like four or five days out of those month or out two. Month, and then if not, you're there. So all we're hearing is music beats, music beats, music so beats. You're kind of over it at that point. Says, yeah. So when I go back and I go home to chill, I'm just watching movies, bro. I'm a movie guy, you know what I mean? What type of movie? Give me your five top movies. Fuck, but you crazy. I can't give you my five Okay, okay, movies. okay. Top three. I mean, I mean, not top three, but three of your movies that you feel like you could watch. Like, I like, like I could tell you my top three. All right, go Like, on. the Harry Potter series I could watch over I and over. With, I fuck with that. Lord of the Rings I could watch over and over. I've watched that shit and then twice. I could probably watch um one of my favorite Step Brothers over and over again. Step Brothers. I think comedies I can't watch over and over again. Because you're kind of over the joke. It's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if, if the homie's watching it already, but if for me to push play on the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't watch it over again, but I've definitely watched, like, fucking... Like, Harry Potter, I've watched that twice and shit. Yeah. Uh, the Marvel movies, I've watched that. Oh, like, like, like Endgame and shit like that? Yeah. I can definitely watch those often enough. Yeah, so that's the type of shit, you know what I mean? Like, I like that type of shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that gangster, bro. I'm just sitting here yeah. watching fucking Scarface. Bro. Watching Scarface <laughs> training day all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh God, drummer, get over it. <laughs> nah, God, man. What but, about like what about like 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 love movie? Well, give me give me like a good love movie you fuck with. I'll give you mine, like just so it could help you a little bit. My, one of my favorite movies is Love and Basketball. I don't think I seen that one. Oh, you're missing out. Never? It's mm. on Netflix right now. It's a great movie. Love movie. A lot of movies are about love, though. Like, they all have their little, their little fucking... The little love part. Yeah, that's hard, bro. I got to pass on that one because I really don't know. But I have watched them. I have watched some shit. 
The only thing I could think of was like, fuck, the notebook. Man. Oh, yeah, but no, that's love. That's love, love. love. You watch that with, if you watch that alone. I know. Nah, I didn't watch that. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Drummer boy puts notebook on by himself. Uh, yeah, nah, nah. I mean, but when it comes to love movies, I can't name them off the top of my head. But I, bro, I'm I'm a movie like I got every app to watch movies and shit. Fucking, if you think about acting, I mean, they've been hitting me up before. I just never really. Uh, bro, you gotta do that. Rap it on us forever, dog. Right. Yeah, you're right. That's why we're getting into everything. Like I, I could picture you like. Like a little mini boss, like a little evil boss, uh, like 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 a little asshole, uh, you know little I mean? asshole, little motherfucker. Yeah, yeah type I don't of know shit. the acting. I feel like all these rappers. I mean, not all, not just rappers, but I feel like acting is always like a good thing to have under your thing. No, nah, it is. Yeah, the homies get, getting off. Like on that my homie G Rabs, that motherfucker. He, he, he oh, doing he's his been shit. acting crazy. I've been seeing all. I, I follow him on IG. Me and him actually got to lock in an interview or something. But G Rabs a real one. Yeah, yeah. I've been following him on IG and. Fucking, he's been acting, doing like the the killer movies and shit like that. So that's always dope. he's a, he's a villain. He's a villain. He's always a villain and yeah. shit. I don't know about this new one, but when he came out and he beat that case and all that shit, and all that shit, whatever happened and shit, you know what I'm saying? When he yeah. came back over here, um, I was one of the first motherfuckers he tapped in with. We got like four songs being released and shit. Damn, I remember when I was growing up and he was like on the run and on the shit that because because I'm from like downtown LA, right? And he's only like he's not he's, he's downtown LA, but a little more like. Kind of more towards like the 110 freeway, and okay. they would, people would bump his shit all the time. People still bump yeah, his shit. All day. I remember people you, yeah. used to know that shit. The devil's grade. inside, yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he tapped in. We got, you know, what I mean, when he first came out, he tapped in and we, we we dropped like four songs. We just never released them. They, they still they still want us to release them and shit. I just haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't got, got around to got it. Got around shit. to it, yeah. But okay. yeah, man, we, we pushing, bro. Like, we got a show coming up. And uh, on the 29th, that's me and Sugar Free, man. You know what I'm saying? I seen that. Pomona's finest right there. Where at? Uh, it's in um, Anaheim. In the OC skis. The 29th in Anaheim, man. That's going to be legendary. Like, Sugar Free tapped in and shit. You know what I mean? Me being from Pomona, obviously Sugar Free was a big uh, uh the influence, influence yeah. on me. You know what I'm saying? And um, he had just got at me on, uh, on, on Instagram. And he's like, well, I see you pimping, woo woo, and shit. You know what I mean? He just he just showed me showed me that love, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, you know what I mean? I'll show him that love back and shit. Because we was bumping that shit when we was gangbanging, bro. Like everything, you know what I'm saying? Like we was we was we was killing it and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just bumping his shit, bro. You know what I yeah. mean? So to have like motherfuckers like that tap in with you, you know what I'm saying? It feels like a different feeling and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit always a vibe for sure. Yeah, but sugar free, he good, he good people, bro. But this show that we doing in Anaheim is that shit going all the way up, bro. Yeah. Like it's it's over. That's the first time me and him really did a show together. The next one, we probably going to do it in Pomona, and that shit going to be stupid. Is it just going to be you two? Yeah. Oh, for this one, it's me me and him. I Obviously, uh, Charlie Stone's on it. Uh, a couple other homies coming out of state, you know what I'm saying, like Jay Ryder, a couple a couple homies on it. And we just threw, um, uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, Cartel Baby. We just threw her on that. She's, you know what I'm saying? So I never heard her. That's a girl. She she doing her thing she right now. Thing? Yeah, okay, she's yeah, coming yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, bro, the 29th. Everybody watch out for that shit. That shit gonna go up. You know what I'm saying? And you know the new album's coming out. What's the name of the album? Yeah, the album. I, I ain't got it yet. Man, motherfucker, drop next week. <laughs> the single drop next oh, week. Oh, the man. single. Yeah. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where's was? Yo, take yeah. me to get it together a little bit. Yeah, yeah, nah, for real, nah. It's bro, me. I just be constantly thinking of different shit. But nah, the one, uh, the song with me and Phoenix called "We Them Ones" and shit. That one's dropping about next about week. next week. About next week. Yeah. Okay. That shit crazy. DSP everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, and then after that, we're gonna drop the one with me and Savvy Third. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've been I've been meaning to tap in with Savvy Third for years now, bro. But yeah, he was in jail and now he finally out, yeah. finally getting it together and shit. Yeah, like that. you know what I'm saying? So I'm you know, you know, I mean if you follow my career, you know, you know, I've always tapped in with the LA scene. With, with the LA scene. With the LA scene. Well Pomona's LA fool. Yeah, it is LA, Sally County. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, was like, Look, I mean Pomona's Pomona, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big bad, you know what I mean, and all that. You know what I'm saying, but it's definitely in LA County. Shout out one of my favorite bitches. I love Pomona. I be I be over there a lot, bro. Yeah. I just don't be posting, but I be over there. You know, I, I be at some view up there. There's like a known high school out there with a view. Uh you talking? You talking about Elephant Hill? I I don't know. She she didn't give me the name, but I just drove up some shit. It was dark. All right. And then it was like a high school big ass parking lot. We we're like late night type shit. Oh okay. And it okay. was just like a dope view. She was like. I'm, 
She's like, cause she come to Atlanta. Ganesha, you read Ganesha Hills. That's Ganesha Hills. And it's like a nice ass view. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't know about this. That's Ganesha Hills. And then that's where like the nice views at. And over here, Elephant Park, where like behind my neighborhood, that's where you go and you, and you get into like fucking straight, you know, like. Bullshit. Yeah. Like <laughs> blood in, blood out. That's where like, I'm not going. I'm going to just go <laughs> kick it over there. Yeah. I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? If, if I'm in a different city, I don't really know. But I, I be chilling, you know what I mean? I, I I definitely ran into a couple of fools like, could I stop by to get off, like to get a water and shit? But mm. like, they just, they was looking at me and they kind of had to observe and they're like, we like your videos for it. They just got it. That's there. dope. That's yeah, dope. that was always cool. But yeah, I, you feel me? I go out there for the LA County Fair. Yeah. The traffic is horrible out there. Not worse than here. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. So nah, it's still bro. pretty bad. To to get there, you talking about to get to Pomona is the worst. The ten is the worst. Motherfucker, you Fucking... driving at three o'clock. Like you gotta you gotta you gotta no, space no, it no, out. No, 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 no. In the night, you fool. I've drove into the IE, I have to pass Pomona on the 10. This shit is always getting fixed. I don't know if the Pomona taxpayers isn't paying their taxes. Yeah. But fix the freeways, goddammit. I, I hope they're fixing it because I'm man, I'm paying so much money in taxes. I'm paying like <laughs> years, bro. I'm paying I'm paying so much money in taxes now, bro. Like it's property like, tax now too, huh? All that. Yeah. On well, what well, drummer, I'm glad you came through. <laughs> yeah, yes, man. Nah, thank you for having me, bro. Give you know him your IG, please, and spell it out because some people don't know. Drummer nine oh nine, man. If you don't know how to spell drummer, hey, uh, hey, hey, you'd be surprised. Uh, how do you spell that? <laughs> D R U M M E R. Drummer nine oh nine on our all platforms, man. I'm just we going crazy. Watch out for my new album. Go fuck with Charlie Stone. Fucking my weed coming out, everything coming out, man. We about to take over the game again, bro. And then it's called We The Ones. By the time this come out, the song will probably be out. We The Ones, yeah. Phoenix Flexing. The show, you know what I mean? Look out for these shows, man. Me and Sugar Free, the 29th out there in Anaheim. We're going to go all the way up. So all my fans, I love y'all. To everybody new, man. This Young Drummer. We here. Come on to represent. And make sure y'all tap in. You feel me? My name is Duno's Road. It's Young Drummer, and we all know Jumper. Yes, sir. Bye.